Mentor here, and I'm back with another video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and also hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the upcoming videos. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make $250 to $500 using the Thumbtack app. I'm also gonna show you how I made $300 in just about an hour from a lead from Thumbtack, doing simple jobs around this lady's house that anybody can do, including the lady that hired. They were very easy jobs. Each job probably took me 10 to 15 minutes to do. It was about five tasks she needed done, and I got them done in about an hour, and her bill was $300. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is download the app. So you're gonna to go to the App Store, or you're gonna to go to the Google Play Store, and you're going to download the Thumbtack Pro app. There's two Thumbtack apps. One is Thumbtack Pro, and then one is just the regular Thumbtack app. The regular Thumbtack app is for the consumer, which is the customer who's looking to hire a service provider for whatever service they need done. The Thumbtack Pro app is the app that you need to download so that you can get these leads and go out and do these, uh, these jobs and get paid from the customer. So once you download the app and you're in, you're logged in and you're in the dashboard, you're going to start selecting uh, services that you can provide. Whatever you're good at, whatever you're mechanically inclined at, Thumbtack has an option for you, whether it's local moving. You got a truck, you got a crew, you can do local moving. So that means you can start accepting uh, leads in local moving. You could accept leads in long distance moving. If you have a tool set and you're mechanically inclined, you can accept furniture assembly jobs. Um, there's plenty of furniture assembly jobs. You can also accept uh, sports assembly jobs. There's a lot of treadmill jobs, uh, treadmill assembly jobs, elliptical. Um, in the springtime, I noticed there's an uptick in uh, people buying basketball goals. So you can assemble that if you know how to mix concrete. So there's a customer who wants an in-ground basketball rim put together and you know how to mix concrete, then you can do that. Um, if you're a photographer, uh, you can accept leads in photography, wedding photography, so on and so forth. If you mount TVs, uh, there's a category for TV mounting. If you're a handyman, you know uh, carpentry skills, you know how to hang cabinets or fix doors or locksmith or an electrical or uh, plumbing, uh, just a typical handyman that knows how to fix things, there's an option uh, there for you. And I think that's probably one of the most popular options on Thumbtack. Um, so sky is the limit as far as uh, the services uh, that Thumbtack uh, uh, provides uh, service providers to select when you are looking to uh, acquire leads. So once you are in the system, you got your profile set up and you got your payment information in, you can start accepting leads. All right, so these leads vary in cost. Certain categories, uh, the leads are more expensive than other categories. For instance, like the local, the long distance moving category, those leads are more expensive than local moving. Why is because they know you're charging the customer a lot more for a long distance move than you would be charging for a local move. I've seen leads, depending on when the consumer, uh, when the consumer uh, is requesting a quote from different service providers or different pros, as uh, Thumbtack will call the service provider, I've seen them range from anywhere from $25 to $99. Obviously, if the consumer selects that they're moving cross country, let's say a 1500 mile move, that lead is gonna be more on the higher end versus if they were moving from one state to another, let's say a 250 mile radius, that lead would be less than moving across country. The local moves um, here in my home market range from anywhere, I mean, they kind of went up lately with inflation, but right now they're ranging anywhere from 10 to $14 a lead, which is still on the cheaper end of some of the other lead provider apps or website, like Home Advisor. Home Advisor is like really expensive. 
Thumbtack still has them beat as far as pricing is concerned. All right now I'm gonna give you the easiest way I know you can make 250 to $500 a day on Thumbtack. And then I'm gonna show you how I made $300 in an hour on Thumbtack. The easiest way I think you can make 250 to $500 a day on Thumbtack is doing simply simple assembly jobs. Simple assembly jobs. Your only cost, your initial cost, is a tool set. Um, a standard tool set, obviously a hammer, uh, a screwdriver, a uh, Phillips flathead, probably some vice grips, a wrench set, a socket set. I would recommend an impact drill, um, an impact uh, drill bit set, um, a driver set, um, a leveler, uh, I would also recommend a stud finder um, because uh, people want you to hang curtains and mount TVs and uh, hang pictures and, and things of that nature. Those, that, the, the, the furniture assembly category is, if, if, if you can read and you can comprehend and you are this much mechanically inclined, you can make $250 to $500 a day on Thumbtack. As long as you can read and follow simple instructions and you have a tool set, you can make the money. Especially like with Ikea furniture, most of their furniture comes flat packed. So most Ikea furniture has to be put together and majority of people that buy Ikea, Ikea furniture, they either pay somebody through Ikea, the, ser the service that Ikea provides at checkout, which they're hiring a third party, uh, contract gig worker anyway or the people buy this stuff and they go on apps like thumbtack or other apps to find somebody to put this stuff together it's simple when the pandemic hit a lot of people couldn't go to the gym so they bought treadmills there's an uptick in health everybody wants to be healthy now everybody wants to go to the gym a lot of people are buying thumbtack uh not thumbtack buying uh treadmills and um ellipticals for their home exercise bikes and uh, they need those things put together. I mean, we charge anywhere, depending on where the location, how far the person has to go to assemble it, and what type of treadmill, anywhere from 125 to 150 to put it together. Now, a lot of these treadmills, when people order them online from like Nordtrack or Proform, they're coming on a freight truck now. It's one guy on a freight truck and they're doing what's called a curbside delivery. So they're just pretty much dropping the, the 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 treadmill at the curb. Most times they'll bring it into the garage for you, and then you can upsell the customer. Where if they say, you know what, I ordered this treadmill, I need it assembled. It's in the garage. I need it brought down to the basement. Now you can charge them more because now you have to bring someone with you to carry the thing into the basement and put it together. Now you can upcharge them another hundred dollars. So a simple treadmill assembly. Uh, that you would go to assemble and bring it from like the garage into the basement or wherever they want it. Now you're making anywhere from 225 to 250 for this assembly job and you got a helper. All right, so right here, uh, this customer had a few odds and end jobs she wanted done. Um, and I charged her a little bit under $300 and I was there for about uh, just a little over an hour. Each task probably took me about 15 minutes to do this job was hanging a curtain rod her husband had hung the rod but he he didn't hit the studs he just drilled the uh, brackets into the drywall and i guess the curtain and the rod the weight from the curtain and the rod uh, eventually um, ripped one of the um, brackets out of the wall so she just wanted it mounted the right way uh, so i you know i brought my toolkit my stud finder I found the studs and uh, I repositioned the brackets and hung them the correct way. And uh, this was just one of the jobs. This took me 10 minutes to do, maybe less. And uh, this was the first thing I tackled uh, while I was there. So as you can see here, I repositioned both of the brackets, uh, put them in the studs, and then I hung the curtain. This customer, she's actually a repeat customer. She calls us all the time to do little odds and end jobs around her home. 
I think we moved her a few years ago and she just kept our number and she just calls us to do things like this. I mean, everything that, you know, she needs done as far as like the handyman work around her home is is a one man job. And each time, you know, I'm billing her two fifty, three hundred. And to be honest with you guys, these are things really that her or her husband can do. So I'm telling you that there's plenty of opportunity. There's things people want done that they just don't want to do themselves. And like this right here, she wanted, the the chairs were, she thought they were broken. And when I got there, I just wiggled them. And I just knew the legs were loose. So I pulled back the Velcro, got an Allen wrench, and I tightened up the legs. I mean, this took me five minutes or less to tighten up the legs on three or four chairs, and uh, I, I included this into the bill as well. This is a bassinet that she wanted assembled. She's having a baby. That took me about 15 minutes. It pretty much came assembled. It was just pretty much just snapping uh, pieces together, and I think the bassinet only had four screws all together, so it didn't even take me 15 minutes, I don't think. Right here... Uh, her daughter ordered like some hanging shelves off of Amazon and she did if you look in the corner you can see how she kind of put some double sided tape and taped them to the wall and put it on a hook but it wasn't done correctly she the mother wanted it done the right way obviously when I pulled the um, the shelf off the wall it pulled the paint because she uses double sided tape so uh Basically, what I did was I took my stud finder, found some studs, and I just um, drilled uh, a hole in the wall, put a nail, and then 16 inches from there, I put another nail, and just moved the um, the hanging shelf over and uh, did it the correct way. Here's what it looked like when it was done. And then the last thing she wanted was this keypad hung on the garage. All right, let's take a quick look at uh, my Thumbtack dashboard. Uh, let's go into furniture assembly. All right, so right here, this is the furniture assembly tab. You can select different types of jobs you do. There's plenty to choose from. So right here in furniture uh, assembly, you can pick your coverage area. Um, you can pick the types of furniture that you assemble. Just check the box. They give you a list. Check the boxes for the ones that you do. The boxes, you, uh, the things that you don't do, leave those boxes unchecked. Uh, it gives you an option of how many items you can assemble. Uh, can you assemble things with or without directions? And then other little specialty add-ons. If you have a truck, can you haul furniture away? Can you pick furniture up? So on and so forth. You can set your budget. I have mine set for unlimited, so they're going to keep sending me leads until just forever. You can set a budget. If your budget is $100, once that $100 is exhausted, then your leads stop for the week, and then they start again uh, the following Monday. It's best to just let it run, and you can book as many jobs as possible. All right, so that's how I made $300 in about an hour from a lead on Thumbtack. And like I said, that was a repeat customer. That's a customer that hired us a few years ago, I believe to move her. And she's been calling us ever since. Uh, we're only four months into 2022. And I think she's called us three times this year just to do simple jobs like that. I think uh, we put together a few bookshelves for her a few months ago. We put together a desk for her a few months ago. Um, she's having a baby. Obviously, you saw from the bassinet, we put together like a playpen, a crib, and some other things on a separate occasion, like oh, four weeks ago. So, and she has plenty of other handyman jobs around her home that, that she needs done, and I'm sure she'll call us for uh, at a later time. But when you go out to these people, when you accept these leads and you go out to these people's homes and you do these jobs, make sure you're doing a good job, make sure you're doing an efficient job because when you do, you gain a customer for life. And not only do you gain a customer for life, that customer is gonna refer you to uh, their friends, their family, and so on and so forth. And that's how you build your business. All these leads are not gonna be the same. 
Some days you're going to have an easy day. Some days you're going to have a hard day. Some leads are going to be good. Some leads are going to suck. You know, you have to make sure that when you are talking to these customers on the phone or through messaging, you're asking them the right questions so you don't misquote them, so you don't cheat the customer. And most importantly, you don't cheat yourself. A lot of times when these customers call or message, they don't give you the entire scope of the job. So you have to know the right questions to ask because the last thing you want to do is quote and then get to the job and it's something, you know, there's, it's, it's more to the job than what the customer described. And now you got to say, hey, I got to charge you more money while you're on the job site. And customers hate when service providers do that. So, you know, ask the right questions at the time of booking. Um, make sure you quote correctly. Um, I hope I gave you uh, good insight on how to make 250 to $500 a day. We're making it. Most days we're making more than that. And it's just not a Thumbtack. There's other apps. We get direct leads. But off of Thumbtack, we're getting 250. Most days we're getting more than $500 a day because we take on moving jobs. We have trucks. So most moves average starting like a studio one bedroom. You're, you're getting about four to $500 minimum after a couple hours of work. But the money is there. The leads will pay for themselves. So as long as you're, when you're getting these leads, as long as you're contacting the customers as soon as possible, um, because you're in competition with other people, don't just think that lead is going to sit there and no one else is trying to fight for it. You got to contact these customers in a timely fashion. And Thumbtack also has a, um, a program, like a tier program where, you know, if you respond within an hour, um, you're closing out jobs and you're doing everything right. The more leads you get, obviously you're spending money on the leads, the more points you get. They have a tier system, gold, silver, and platinum. Uh, once you get to platinum status, I think you gotta have a 4.7 uh, review average. You gotta respond to 75% of leads within an hour. They'll give you a top pro badge. And a lot of people look for that top pro badge because that says you're the best of the best in that category. And most consumers want to hire the best of the best because now they know they get, they're getting their money's worth. So I hope this video uh, helps you guys out in your journey. I want to see you guys do well. And like I said, you can easily make 250 to $500 a day using these methods. Uh, make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, uh, hit the notification bell so you can uh, stay up to date on uh, all the upcoming videos. And I'm out. Check, come and check, leave a flex, season fuck 12, come and get me. Give your ass to run around.